my name is Anne, and this is Toby. And today, it's a Thursday, and we're going to talk to you on our new day about cross-stitch and quilting. Yes, if you didn't know, on Monday, I did a chit-chat video, and I have readjusted schedule once again. <laughs> But this time we're going to be doing weekly videos. So every Tuesday is knitting and crochet and every Thursday is cross stitch and quilting. So let's dive straight into the cross stitch. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to show you in the bag that I made is my granita. So this is the granita. It's an It's So Emmer pattern from the Fat Quarter Shop. You can do it in different colors, but it only takes four colors. I absolutely love this. And <clears throat> I love the fact that it's the four colors because you can really get a good, a really good, so here's where I'm at. Oh, you can really get a good, um, I don't know, it's really good TV cross stitch. You can sit there and really go to town on it, you know, because you're only working on the four colors and the blocks of color are quite big. So, you know, and then the nice thing about this, and I've said this every time, but I'm saying it again, is I like the fact that all the symbol, all the little patterns all around, and it is a quilt pattern actually, um, are the same. So once you've done this, it's easy to just copy these without having to keep looking at your pattern. And the same, you know, these are the same. And um, these were the same. So it's very easy to follow along and look. So there's where I'm at. Don't have much more to go. This was a sew along, but naturally I got way behind with it. So I'm not actually following the sew along. I'm just doing it my way. And I am trying to do a certain section per week. So I do need to just finish along here and finish that off to do this week. And then I can go on and do that. So I should probably get this finished in two or three weeks at the most. So I really am enjoying that one. Really is a very nice one to do. So that's Granita. Then another sew along that I'm not even bothering to keep up with <clears throat> is this one, which is a Laurie Holt pattern. And it's called So Happy. And again, this is a quilt pattern as well. You can get the quilt and it's a so it's a it's so Emma uh, published this, which is the fat quilt shop. And um, this is super cute as well. And there are not as there are more colors to this but again they are big blocks of color so I've done the sew here let me just take this off might be easier I should probably take it off each time so the sew is done and the little uh quilt block and I'm about to start this is the happy or the H so I'm going to do the H and A this week and and then the PP and then the Y apostrophe. So that'll be the next four weeks. And then the sewing machine, I'm thinking will take at least two weeks. Cause it's fairly big. So I'm enjoying that too. Very nice. And then, but I have to say, I'm not spending as much time on these two items because I'm really busting my, I'm working quite fast on one particular one. And it's this one. This is gorgeous. I have to say though, the pattern is very small. I've never done a Country Cottage Needleworks pattern before. I've seen lots of them and they look fabulous. Um, there's one that was called, um, oh, 
Now I can't even think what it was called. I don't even know. Um, but it was Christmas, Christmas Village or something. And oh my gosh, it looked fabulous. And I would love to make that. But if the patterns are anything like this, I'm not really sure I want to now because the, the pattern itself is very small. Like it fits in this bag. <laughs> so um, this is a lot of fun. And the plan for this is I'm going to do the houses along the top and get ready as on the 1st of December, I will then do box number one. And then on the 2nd of December, box two and so on and so on till by the end of December, I will have finished on Christmas Day. So here is where I am so far, and I have it on my new lap stand. Ta -da! Isn't it cute? I absolutely love it. And I've been trying to work on a house a week, a house and a tree. There's one more house to go here and a tree. And then I just need to get the bottom area here um, set ready to start on. So I really like that. And I love my lap stand. It's absolutely brilliant. I don't know why I never got one before. Um, yeah, so that is my cross stitch for this week. So that's a lot of fun. So let's get on with the quilting. Now, I'm really working hard again most of the stuff is being put on hold. I'm working very hard this week to get all my Christmas gifts done. And um, I'm pretty sure my kids don't actually watch this, but my dad might, so dad don't look. Um, and what I've been doing is for them, they're all getting the same table runner, my kids. <clears throat> I have two boys and a stepdaughter. And in the Sew Sampler box, I think it was July, and it came with the, um, I love Layla Boutique fabrics. Her fabric, um, Christmas Morning, was in that, in flat eights. And you could do the quilt, which had the three rows, or you could make them into three table runners. So I chose three table runners. And in actual fact, I had enough fabric to make four table runners and with the leftover, I was able to get two placemats. Now this will be for my dad and my brother for Christmas. Um, and I really, I, Hubby helped me pick the binding. We went with black because the back of it are these fabulous trees. So they can go this way if they want to, or this way. And then the black matches perfectly with the fabric on the back. The fabric on the back I got from Fabricland. <clears throat> so I was, and, and I love this um, design. It's uh, a pattern from um, A Quilting Life, Sherry McConnell, and it's her tumbler. It's actually a table runner, but I chose to not make a table runner and I chose to make placemats and it's a great way to use your scrap fabric so I'm going to make a bunch of these throughout the year so that was the one and then here is one of the table runners that I have finished I quilted it myself oh upside down there we go so I quilted it myself with a diamond shaped cross hatch I think you can see that there. So basically here is the table runner. It's quite long. And what I did was I laid it this way and then I put some masking tape. I found sort of the middle. So I got to the middle of the table runner there. And then I got a tape and I laid it across in a diagonal line. And then from there, with my walking foot, I then set them these apart an inch and a half. And it came up with this gorgeous little diamond shape. And then I had enough of the binding that I had for another project, which I'll show you in a second, which was this fabric to do the border. 
which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So, and again, I put this on the back so that you can use it this way or you can use it this way. So that's the first one done. Now I have three made pieced and one of them I have got ready to, it's basted. So it just has to start to be quilted. And I thought with that one, I might do, um, instead of that way, I might go straight down and straight across. So like, a, not a box, a square all the way. So I'm gonna try that to see if I like that one better. And I've got some red fabric that I will use, just plain red for the border. And then I've got another one ready to baste. And I have to actually put together, piece the third one, fourth one. So hopefully I get them all finished at Christmas. And then this was another one that I actually, now it took me, just by the by, two hours to um, do the stitching on here, the quilting with my walking foot. It took me two hours. And then it took me another, I don't know, hour or so to base, to um, put the binding on and then hand stitch it last night. My hands were killing me by the time I'd finished, but that's because I also did this one. <laughs> Yay! Isn't this really cute? So this was a free pattern from the Fat Quarter Shop called Charming Christmas Tree. And, um, it is using mini charms. So these are already pre-cut for you in the little squares like this at two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And then I just got some, I think it was a, a Moda um, plain, like a cream color. And then you just make your little Christmas tree. I just think this is the best thing ever. And then I did the cross hatch again. Um, so I laid find the center and then I just went from one corner to the other corner with my masking tape, sewed along it, then ripped the masking tape off. And then using the um, guide on my uh, machine, on my walking foot, I did these two inches apart. So these actually gave a bigger diamond, which I thought was lovely. And then this is, of course, the binding on it, which is from the line. It is from this particular line. And the backing I did, again, was this gorgeous, gorgeous bear, birds, the, the doves. And the this was, again, from the same line. So here is the back and here is the front. And I absolutely love it. So this is going to get hung up in the living room, dining room area. And so that was that was the binding that I had left. I had a hot half a meter of the binding fabric to make the binding for this. And I had enough of it left to do this. So I'm doing my best to try to do that. I also have enough of this left to do binding on another one of the board of the placemats. And uh, one of them actually has a poinsettia of, of that fabric. So I want that one to be the one that matches that border. So that'd be kind of fun. Um, so yeah, now I also did a video on Monday in which I showed you how I plan my um, uh, week of what projects I'm gonna work on. And um, in my planner, I have a planner, I'm a planner girl, and I have a new planner for next year, which is a quilting planner. And I will go into more detail with that at the end of the month, the last Monday of the month, I will be doing a bit more, actually, maybe no. Maybe I'll show you now. One second. 
So here is my planner for 2022. And it is a quilting planner. And I have already put some stickers in because I love stickers to make it pretty. And I have already put in all the family birthdays. So I know when everybody's birthday is. And this particular planner has, you have your months and um, you can write in events that are gonna happen and I will be putting in here when I will be doing my videos. And then each week <clears throat> is like this. Now, I love a vertical planner, but I also like, so the pages typically are just like that. They're plain. But I don't typically use the, the, the times. What I like to do in, a, in this type of a planner is a morning, afternoon, evening. And I just use that whole box to put my, what I'm gonna work on. And then of course at the top is your, your three to-dos for that day that are, you know, and they could just be wash the dog or something. And then down here you have your goals for the week, which is really cool too. Um, Cause I love to, to sit there and check off my goals. At the back of this book, is a, a section for projects. So here are the projects that I have already got in for this coming year, because I want to get all the Christmas stuff finished first before I start on any of the sew sampler boxes that I have got and haven't opened yet. Well, I've opened them, but I'm, you know, used them. Um, because I need to get the Christmas stuff done first. And as soon as they're done, then I will be finishing off the leaves one because that one needs to be quilted, uh, bound and quilted. Uh, and then I will um, start, after that one's completed, I will start with the, um, the October Sew Sampler box, which I opened a couple of videos ago, which um, is gonna be a quilt for my husband, Bob. Um, for his birthday, which is in February, and so it's Valentine's Day. So, you know, two presents in one. And then I have just listed some of the others. I'd like to work on the Unraveled and the Summit, which is the June and the August so sampler, and the In Stitches, which is the September so sampler. Um, then there is this really great table runner called Give Thanks, and that is a Pat Sloan pattern from her latest book, Holiday Celebrations. And that would be perfect for, for Thanksgiving. Obviously, I might not necessarily work on it right away, but at some point I would like to work on that. There's also a simple patchwork runner, which is a Sherry McConnell from her uh, latest book. And then there's also the 3D pop star quilt that I would like to do. I actually also have a quilt that I wanna make for my grandson. Um, which I did start and I forgot what I did with it. Um, mm -hmm. that shapes on it. I don't remember color burst or something. And who knows? We'll find it. Um, and then you can also write down as you start your projects, all the details and stuff of what you steps you need to take and what supplies you need, if you need anything for it. And, um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's my plans for next year. But of course, I have to finish everything off for this year. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, which was rather a lot, I know. And But I'll be back next week and we'll be able to chat some more about my cross stitch and my quilting. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I will answer every single question. And um, please like and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. And have a wonderful week. Talk to you next week. Bye.